Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be looking at a lengthy refurbishment that's set to take place on one of Universal Studios Orlando's most iconic and most legendary modern day developments, Revenge of the Mummy. Now before we get started with all the details from Inside Universal, where the link to that article from Inside Universal will be in the description down below, make sure you like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts on this refurbishment, subscribe if you are new around here, click notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We are on the road to 2,600 subscribers. The goal by the end of 2021 is 3,000 subscribers and 1 million total views. Let's get watching the old stuff. Let's get watching the new stuff. Let's get subscribing. Also guys, check the social media links and the Google Forms link in the description down below where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas for the channel. And for now guys, let's have a look at the refurbishment details for Revenge of the Mummy at Universal Studios Orlando. So this is from Inside Universal. The link to the article is in the description down below and it reads as follows. Universal Orlando has announced that its popular attraction, The Revenge of the Mummy, will be closed for a lengthy refurbishment period beginning in January 7th, 2022. The attraction is expected to remain closed throughout late summer 2022. No other details have been given or what exactly the refurbishment will entail, but Universal has stated to stay tuned to UniversalOrlando.com for updates at a later time. So if you want some statistics on this ride, it is a length of 2,200 feet, a height of 44.4 feet, a speed of 40 miles per hour, a vertical angle of 50 degrees, a duration of 2 minutes 57 seconds, costing $40 million, replacing the classic Kong attraction. Now it's time to share my thoughts on this refurbishment program. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages. The Temple of Pharaohs is being undergone a major refurbishment all throughout the start of 2022 going up to the summer. And in my opinion, I think with this being a long refurbishment program, this says to me a lot of modern upgrades to the ride. Maybe some new animatronics, maybe some dust up here and there, a bit of TLC here and there, maybe some soundtrack changes. We don't know exactly what's going to happen to the attraction as of yet officially however it is all just guessing at this point we don't know what's going to happen to it we don't know if they changed the actual ride system yet but all we know is it's going to start on january the 7th 2022 so if you want to ride the just in case it is one of those refurbishments that is you know a sort of new look to this classic attraction. If you want to ride the original Revenge of the Mummy, you've got until January the 7th, 2022 to ride it, just in case. Uh, and then, of course, in the summer, you'll be able to ride it again next year. Now, Revenge of the Mummy, I've seen a lot of stuff as a kid about this coaster when this was on, being under construction, you know, replacing the classic Kong attraction at uh, the park. And, you know, Universal Studios Orlando has always been a bucket list theme park for me. It's always been a bucket list coaster park for me. Not just coaster but rides other rides as well and Revenge of the Mummy has always been one of those attractions one of those coasters that I've always wanted to experience I actually can't wait even more now for this to be refurbished and to see what it will look like now obviously you know a trip to Orlando could be a long way away for me but I will try my best to get out there as soon as possible if I can uh, because I think it's definitely a dream trip for me 100% so I think Revenge of the Mummy is going to be a wonderful coaster to experience for me personally in the future and uh, I really can't wait to see what the park is going to do with the refurbishment program of the attraction. So there we are ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages that is today's update on Revenge of the Mummy's refurbishment program taking place starting January 7th 2022, working all the way to a summer reopening before we finish off guys make sure you do like the video if you loved it comment down below what are your thoughts on the refurbishment of revenge of the mummy i may add this to the calling the live calling show that i'm going to do uh, at some point next week um about shrek 4d closing as well that's too big universe there's gonna be a very universal orlando type show that one that call-in show um you know shrek 4d closing revenge of the mummy being refurbished what's your thoughts on both of them so i'm probably going to mix that in with that show as well so Stay tuned next week at some point when I'm not at work for a live call-in session where you guys get to call in and have your say 
on the refurbishment of Revenge of the Mummy and the closure of Shrek 4D. Also, guys, make sure you click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Click the subscribe button. Like I said, we've got until January 2022 to get to 3,000 subscribers and 1 million views in total. By the time Revenge of the Mummy closes, fingers crossed, we should be on 3,000 subs and a million views. So let's try and get there as soon as possible. But there we go, guys. My name is Coast Chow, keep on the Coast Alive, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a fair-o-tastic day. Ooh. Keep your head back. Hold on tight. You must escape. Go! Go!